Dude, having hard things happen, having difficult things happen, having obstacles, that's just a part of life. But what if you intentionally, listen to me, what if you intentionally went out and did things that you knew that were difficult? Whoa, wait a minute. Andy, you're saying, we know life's hard, but you're saying, chase hard things? Hey guys, what's going on? Andy Elliott. This video was made to give you some advice. As a matter of fact, three tips, pillars, secrets, foundation of how to become mentally tough over freaking night. You say, Andy, how can I become mentally tough overnight? Real easy, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. But most important, I want you to understand this, we're in a world right now where most people are mentally lost. And you're a warrior, male or female watching this, you're a warrior. And your greatest weapon as a warrior is your mind. And I feel like we're around a lot of people that have really sensitive egos that just can't seem to grow because they're not mentally tough. And if you're not mentally tough, you're going to get your ass kicked. It'll happen every time. So I made this video especially for those of you who wanna become mentally tough and wanna become mentally tough now. You got me? So I love you guys. These are the three tips, how to get mentally tough overnight. All right guys, step number one to become mentally tough. This is step one, write it down. Intentionally do hard things. Now listen to me, follow me. I'm gonna give you some stuff here, okay? Write down the word intentionally. This is different. Dude, having hard things happen, having difficult things happen, having obstacles, that's just a part of life. But what if you intentionally, listen to me, what if you intentionally went out and did things that you knew that were difficult? Whoa, wait a minute. Andy, you're saying, we know life's hard, but you're saying, chase hard things? Yes. Okay, so let me give you a couple. By the way, the way you start your day is the way the day goes. So I'm gonna give you guys. I said I could change your life overnight and make you mentally tough. So now you gotta listen, you gotta be coachable and be a student. Number one, we wake up in the morning. Write this down. We wake up in the morning and we spend four to six percent of our day at least four to five times a week doing something hard. Now listen. It can be a run, four to six percent of your day. Let's let's figure out what the, the time is. That's an hour to an hour and a half. One hour is four percent of your day of a twenty-four hour day. Do you got me? Four percent of your day to six percent, which is one hour to one and a half hours. Here's a, here's some things you can do. By the way, I wake up in the morning. I drink two glasses of water every morning. I don't drink coffee first. I love coffee. Two glasses of water, and I go for a forty-five minute walk in my neighborhood. Okay, me and my wife, it's very hilly. We live in Arizona, Scottsdale. It, it, it's, there's a heat, okay? I'm making this video in the summer right now. Um, by the way, Arizona is 10 months out of the year is like summer. I take my shirt off and I go for a walk. I get my vitamin D, I get my sun rays, I get my exercise, I'm walking the hills. And then me and my wife, 45 minutes back into the house, we literally go straight into the gym, boom! Blast out 45 minutes of workout. That's an hour and a half, that's 6% of our day. We're getting in our exercise, we're getting in our sunlight, we're working out, and dude, I'm in the best freaking mood all day long, kicking ass, and mentally doing hard things. Now, if it's not where I'm waking up and walking, then I'm going straight into the gym when I wake up, creating movement and doing exercise. Sometimes I'll go into the gym, four to 6% of my day, and I'll just work out. I won't do the hill walk. I'll just go straight into the gym. No texting, no emailing, no phone calls, okay? That's my time, it's a sacred time for me to get my mind right. This thing has to get right, it gets right when I'm exercising and working out. So, if you wanna become mentally tough overnight, you wanna do it? Don't tell me you wanna do it if you don't wanna do it. If you want to do it, you must exercise four to 6% of your day, four to five days a week. No screens, no screens, no screens, no screens. Your mind must feel you do hard things intentionally. Now, you're gonna get a good benefit because you're gonna look better. You're gonna have more energy. Your endorphins, dopamine, serotonin are all gonna be firing off all these chemicals that your body releases when you do hard things. So you're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna give that to your family, your company, your customers, and yourself. You're gonna feel awesome. But you do hard things. It makes you proud of you. It just puts you in the best state and the best mood for the rest of the day. And that mental edge will help you dominate everyone.
All right, guys, number two. I'm gonna go back to what I told you in number one, what I wasn't gonna tell you about. Super important, guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating, next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. And that is the cold plunge. Did I say overnight? I said overnight, right? How to become mentally tough overnight. Are you ready? Well, one was four to six percent of your day, the exercising, working out, getting movement, doing hard things. But number two is gonna be the cold plunge. Okay, now two things that everybody needs to know about this. I'm 44 years old. When I wake up in the morning, me and my wife walk out the back door, we go straight into the cold plunge before we exercise, work out, go on our walks or do anything, which I told you is number one. We do three to four minutes. I mean, we could do as many as we want, but to get what we need, the benefits, we do three to four minutes and it must be 50 degrees or colder, okay? Now we do ours at 37 degrees, okay? We have two cold plunges, me and her together, 37 degrees. We literally, I put on like some YouTube motivational video or something like that, and I'll put it on for four minutes. I put headphones on, she put headphones on. Boom, we submerge into the cold plunge. We literally immediately have that, uh, I don't know, affirmations, that good positivity feeding into your brain. Motivational uh, speech is over, we get out, we got the cold plunge. Two things happen during that cold plunge. Number one, mental clarity through the roof. 37 degrees, first thing in the morning. It's not what you wanna do, it's what you need to do. Boom, man, you're sharp as, you're sharp as anything. I, I, guys, I love the cold plunge so much and I hated it in the beginning, but sometimes midday, I find myself thinking about it. I'm like, God, I need to get the cold plunge. I love it, I need to get in it. Number one, mental clarity. Number two, it creates all this brown fat around your heart, okay? You can look up on YouTube, there's a guy named Andrew Huberman, okay? And he talks about the benefits of the cold plunge. Great video. Like, there's like 50 things that it does. Super good for you internally, for your health. Secondly, mental edge like no other. You wanna live longer, you wanna be sharper. Guys, a way for you to become mentally tough overnight, wake up, do the cold plunge. All right, guys, number three, mental toughness hack number three, how to become mentally tough overnight. Are you ready? Be prepared in advance for tests. Andy, what does that mean? It's very simple. For tests, you're gonna get challenged all day long. And I want you to think about this. Before the test comes, I want you to think, how am I gonna handle the test when the test comes? There's a saying, it says, winners live where quitters quit. Winners live where quitters quit. Everybody starts the race at the same place. But the winners live in an area where the quitters never make it because they quit, okay? So what does that mean? That means this, this right here, this mindset, it must know that when things get hard, only the people that love doing hard stuff make it. Only the people that love hard stuff win. And if you want to be the alpha, the predator, the, the apex predator, the, the winner, the best, you must understand that your competition they're going to endure the same hard things that you are, and they're gonna get hit with the same challenges and hard stuff you are. The question is, who loves doing hard stuff? Do you get hard stuff and you complain, you whine, you cry, you make excuses and you don't love it? Or do you get hard stuff and you're like, hell yes, man. Dude, I love it when stuff gets hard because I know that my competition's going through hard stuff right now and they're whining, they're crying, they're, they're complaining, they're being little babies and I love this shit. You know what winning is? Winning is doing stuff that you don't wanna do and doing it like you love it. That's what winning is. So what are we gonna do? Step number three, we're gonna wake up and decide when hard shit comes our way, when we get served a test, we're going to wish it was harder because that's where we win. And when we have a great attitude and we persevere through hard things and we have grit, fortitude, fire, and perseverance, and we push through when others won't, at the end of the day, it's gonna feel euphoric and we're gonna feel amazing and we're almost gonna wish it was harder because it's a gift to be able to push through hard shit. And that's the mentality you gotta have. Number three, okay? 
the mentality to say, I look forward to my tests. I can't wait for them to come up because when they do, I'm going to annihilate them and rip their throats out. So guys, this video was about three ways, three pillars, three things that you can do to become mentally tough. We're in a society, we're in a very weak society right now where a lot of people aren't mentally tough. They don't have thick skin, they get their feelings hurt easy. No one wants to hear the truth and everybody wants to hear what they wanna hear which is why people aren't growing fast enough and change isn't happening. If you're watching this and you're like, dude man, I wanna kick ass. Damn, I wanna kick ass so bad, man. I wanna be the best. I wanna earn what I'm worth. I wanna just become who I'm supposed to become and I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of not, not growing like I want to. Let's change that right now. Guys, there's a link below, no bullshit. I will totally recreate your life. I will change your life. I will rip you out of your comfort zone and I will take you to the growth zone. If that's what you want, down in the description box below on this video, it says Coach with Andy. Okay, train with me. What I want you to do is click on that link, answer some of the questions, make sure you fill out your information right, name, phone number, that way we can reach out to you. Okay, I can't call you, I can't reach out to you, I can't make a strategy plan with you, it's the wrong information. But I want you to make a decision. If Andy calls me, I'm gonna make a decision. I'm gonna change. Cool, make that decision right now. Go click on that link below, fill that information out, guys, and I will see you on the other side. I love you guys, I appreciate you. This is your time to grow.